My problem with misdiagnosis on YouTube is that people throw around the term schizophrenia to refer to very often new age uh, gurus, teachers, etc. It may not be schizophrenia, folks. It could easily be any one of a number of conditions. Because many of you also use the term narcissist or sociopath to describe some of these individuals. Well, think about the in-depth well, nature of some of those conditions. If you have a person who is a sociopathic narcissist, well, they might well consider themselves to be somehow superior in that way. But also, when it comes down to hallucinations and delusions, and you say, oh, well, that might be schizophrenia. It might well be major depression. It might well be a variety of other disorders and conditions and imbalances. And we only see part of the story on the internet. So do I think it's fair to label people as schizophrenics without sufficient evidence? Of course not. Without sufficient evidence we cannot say if a person is or is not suffering from a particular condition. So in that way very often I favour the idea of saying this person has issues. We can talk about what's evident but to diagnose them, even pseudo-diagnose them, would be something of a mistake.